We'll pick up uh, with the Buffalo Sabres. We were just talked about that a minute ago. 91 points last year. Only one point out of the playoffs. They had a nice little rush at the end. They haven't been in the playoffs since 2011 when they lost in the first round of Philly. 35-1 to to win the Cup this year, Merles. That number was a little lower than I thought. Uh, they brought in Eric Johnson, nice little veteran uh, help on the back line. Connor Clifton, they signed a three-year, $10 million deal to. Uh, said bye to Vinny Hinnestrosa. Craig Anderson retired. Plenty of cap space if they want to do something. But this is a team biz. Uh, they're looking to take that next step. They got a lot of offense. You know, Tage Thompson, we just mentioned. Alex Tuck, Jeff Skinner, Dylan Cousins. Middle stats really come into his own. The defense we've talked about nonstop. Devin Levi, I think, is the key to the season. Biz, go to you first on Buffalo. I mean, my expectation is they're the the devils from last year, and they okay. just have this massive explosion where these all these guys together take that next step. And and uh, I mean, as far as the goaltending concern, I'm not going to evaluate the performance from the other night against the Penguins after Sid got the boys going. But I would say that with split time, I would hope that that Levi goes in there and has an incredible rookie season. Uh, I'd like to see him top three in the Calder voting. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see Owen Power take that next step. I know he was hurt a little bit, a bit last year with the boot on, but uh, it's going to come down to this high-flying offense too. I mean, I know the coach, he lets him fucking go, right? Yep. And and sometimes that's fun at the beginning of the season when things are a little bit more opened up, but come crunch time, the games get a little bit harder and you can't always win like that, right? So there has to be a fine line between this offensive flair and, and some structure and... Once again, I feel like this team is ready to take that next step, but are my expectations too high? Yeah, I just think with the way they play, Levi's not going to have that year everybody thinks. Like, he's going to be good enough. He's going to be better than they had. But when the way they play, they're so open. Over not, it's not for a goalies. Like, they're not a defensive shutdown team. So his numbers will not be great, but he's going to make them win more games than they did last year. If that makes sense. I, I think basically what you kind of mentioned, it, it's it's all about some guys making that that extra step. It's like like Paterka, right? A great rookie season. What what can you add yeah. on to that second season? And and you look at Middlestat, who really kind of finally had last year a solid season, a 60 point guy. Kevin Adams mentioned, I think he had 16 points in his last 10 games. Can you jump up even a little bit more? Krebs, right? He kind of had a little bit of an off year. What can you do? So it's, you know what you're getting from uh, Thompson. You know what you're getting from Tuck. I, I I think you know what you're getting from Cousins, but that's another young player. See what he can do. And then there's just the, the secondary guys. Jack Quinn. I mean, this kid is a sniper. Can he hop up to 25, 30 goals? It's just, there's a lot of question marks, but they're my Eastern Conference team. I, I think they're going to get in the playoffs. I think it's going to be a, such an exciting season around this team because of how they play. High scoring, high offense. But I, I want, but but if some of these guys don't make the step up, I it could be a, it could be a fight for them to get in the playoffs. Even if they do play great, it's going to be a battle in this division, in this conference. So I'm very interested to see how, how it all plays out. I had something else, but I can't remember. So Jack, uh, is Jack Quinn? Yes. What's his name? Yeah, he's missing, I think, a month or two. He just got injured. He blew his knee out or something, I believe. So Jeez, he won't get, your, he won't get your 30 goals. Tough but start there. He is really good. He's a really good player. And now we just talked about Benson, too. Benson, I think that's why Benson's going to make the team is to fill his spot. Also, another, we, we talked about it the last two years, but... Jeff Skinner was ridiculed oh, and, yeah. and counted out, and his contract. Well, I mean, was the he did worst. sign that huge ticket. It was yeah, and then he, and then he was brutal after, and it yeah. was it was it was a kind of a laughing stock of a stock of a deal. He's coming off thirty three goals two years ago, thirty five last year, eighty two points last year. So it, I I feel no reason that it's not going to continue. Obviously, he's got some sort of chemistry uh, with Thompson and, and Tuck or whatever it is. They have a lot of offense offensive weapons. I, I like when they brought over Greenway. They need a little bit of toughness in that lineup to protect those guys as well, along with Oposo. So I feel like they have a really well-rounded team where from a top nine perspective, when Quinn comes back and if all of a sudden Benson keeps doing what he's doing, like they have their top nine is is pretty filthy. Yeah, it is. It is. It's yeah. fucking pretty Loaded. filthy. Loaded. And they, and they got, I mean, those two big, Power and Darlene, like the way they skate, how big they are, how much minutes they can play. So the only worry is, and I, I was kind of with you, I said to Posh, like, they could be like the Devils. I don't know if they'll pop off that much, but in, in, in like a team where you're like, what an improvement, things switched overnight. The only thing is, there's a thing called sophomore slumps, right? And they got a few guys, you're not, every guy's second season isn't going to always be better than the first. So they're just going to have to battle through whoever is struggling and not playing to what they kind of counted on, the coaching staff was. All right, playoffs in a row. I got them in. What got him in, Biz? I got to make him yeah, playoffs this I, year. Yep. And third seed. G? 
Uh, I got him in. I I hope if they get off to a hot start, Patrick Kane signs there. Ooh, I just they still have eight yeah. million. I said that like two years ago. Yeah. I think yeah. like, that would be the story of the season, especially especially if he comes back the way they're saying, lighten it up and feeling good. Eight Maybe he'll come back through. halfway through, so he doesn't have to come like be back in Buffalo for that long. Yeah, is it just oh. give me a few months in Buffalo? Although you can't get cut off here, all right, proof. <laughs> yeah, we got the full gamut of weather here too, man. Four different days, four different <clears throat> fucking degrees.